Hey everybody, I'm Chris and this is Cassandra from the Arcan RV Parts Department. We're here at Rainbow Valley Campground in Edmonton and we're going to be talking about some of the things that we cover in our off-grid camping seminar. So first we'll uh, start talking about our battery selection. So Cass, um, tell me a little bit about car batteries and RV batteries. What's the difference? Why can't I just use a car or a truck battery with my RV? Uh, car batteries have thinner lead plates in them. So they're designed for quick bursts of power whereas the RV battery has thicker lead plates in them for continuous slow depths of discharge. Oh, so it's going to last longer and take way longer to discharge all the power that's in an RV battery. Correct. So um, I've heard a lot about AGM batteries. What is an AGM battery and what's that all about? Uh, so those are called uh, absorbed glass mat batteries. Unlike the, your typical lead acid batteries, they're completely sealed. They don't release hydrogen gases. Uh, so they don't need to be vented like your typical RV deep cycle batteries are. Um, and because of this, they can actually be mounted basically any way you want except for upside down. Um, the other popular thing about them is that they don't freeze in negative temperatures. Um, even at minus 20 degrees Celsius, the AGMs will still produce 90% of their battery power. Hmm, so it'll last way longer and there's very little to no maintenance involved. Hmm. So we know about starter and deep cycle batteries, and we know a little bit about AGM batteries now. So, um, but I know there are different sizes and configurations of batteries, like 12 volt and 6 volt. Can you tell me, like, what's the difference between those, and how does that all work? Sure. The main difference is the capacity size of the batteries. Uh, single 12 volt batteries tend to have a smaller capacity, uh, somewhere between 140 reserve minutes to 210. Uh, two 6 volts uh, combined together makes up a 12 volt battery with a bigger battery bank. Um, so it would essentially, three 27 series batteries would be the same amount of power as two 6 volt batteries. Oh wow, okay. And so you're using three batteries instead of two, which wouldn't really be great because they're really heavy. Um, so it sounds like for off-grid camping, or if I'm getting out and I'm not going to be able to plug into a powered campsite, then at least two 6 volts would be the way to go. 100%. Okay. So thanks for sharing that information. Um, I hope everybody learned a little bit from that. And if they have any questions about batteries or battery systems for RVs, they can come and visit us in the Arcan Parts Department anytime. So one other thing I wanted to show you was a battery disconnect switch. Looks just like this, They're, they come in various different sizes and shapes, but typically it'll get mounted somewhere around your battery box. And it's just a quick and easy way to flip that switch and be 100% confident you don't have any parasitic draws or any draws coming off of your batteries at all. So a really good investment, not very expensive, and uh, can definitely save you some heartaches because you don't like to wake up in the middle of the night and find out you've had a draw on your battery all night and now uh, things aren't working in your trailer. So definitely want to pick one of these up.